Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. There's no subject today, man. I'm just going to bring paradise into your living room. Or maybe on your job, wherever you are. In your bed. I got this idea because one of the guys in my comments, he said, I want to thank you, brother, for bringing paradise to us. And this is paradise uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's a beautiful beach. I'm on Sikiwa Island, right off the coast of Dumaguete. You know, I was watching a vlogger the other day, and I'm going to give him credit. His name was Tim K. I believe he was in Newport Beach, California. He was on a beautiful beach. As far as you could see, nothing but white sand. Now, this sand is what, what I would consider to be beige. But one thing I noticed about it, there was no trees. It was like it was a man-made beach. And I was, it, it, it was so strange, even though I'd seen it before. I've been to Destin Beach, Florida. I mean, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, in Destin, Florida. And you see the whitest sand that you're ever going to see, but there's no trees. This is a natural coastline here. That's why I really love it. And I take my shoes off all the time. And, uh, you know, I walk in the sand. I let that electronic field, or electromagnet field from the earth come up through me, man. And I eat less here. I spend less money. I have a lot less stress here, man. That's why I do my writing and everything. I just thought, why well, don't I just walk along the beach today and let these guys see what the beach looks like over here. Of course, the Philippines is more than beaches. But you can't come to the Philippines without coming to the beach, guys. Some, some guys do it. What I like about it here is it's so peaceful, man. Nobody's here. I'm, I'm, I promise you. And I don't understand it. I do from a local's perspective, you know, they're superstitious. They think witches and warlocks are here, and it could be true. But they've never bothered me. I've been coming here since 2016, 2017. Every single year. I've never had any problem. But I met a guy from Dumaguete, see. This is Negros Oriental, so Dumaguete somewhere around in there. And he's lived in Southeast Asia, Saipan, Guam, Thailand, the Philippines. And I just asked him, I said, you know, what's the difference really between Thailand and the Philippines? He said, well, you know, Thailand is more cosmopolitan. You know, if you want to party and, and things like that, you go there, he said. But if you want a laid back lifestyle, if you want to relax, he said, you come here to the Philippines. And I've got to agree with him, man. He, he hit that on the money. This is about as laid back of a place as I've ever been in my life, man. Nobody bothers you here. So much natural beauty. The content is here if you want it, man. If you're a vlogger here, you can just walk up and down the beach. You don't even have to say anything. Because people don't get to experience this every day. I experience this every single day. It cost me about $12.50 a day to experience this, man. Another thing I like about Philippines, it's a throwback, excuse me. You see, long before we had a washing machine, that's how my mother used to wash and dry our clothes. She washed them by hand and put them on the line. The Philippines preserves you over here with that old-fashioned lifestyle. Everything slows down. Marilyn will be here about 8 o'clock tonight. I mean, this is paradise with or without a relationship. People think I'm playing, man. I got to the point, I'm 60 years old. I've got seven children. If I never have sex again, man, it's okay with me. I'll find something to do, but that's not going to happen. That's the least of my worries. That's why I don't spend a whole lot of time focusing on that. And I tell that to my viewers and subscribers, man. We're still on planet Earth, guys. That stuff's not going anywhere, but if you focus on it, man, if you come, if sex is all you want in the Philippines, that's all you're going to get. 
I hate to tell you that. If sex is all you're looking for, then that's all you're going to get. You're going to miss all of this. So I want you to do an experiment with me, guys. Wipe your problems and troubles in the sand right here. And let these waves wash them away because this too shall pass. It's not that serious. This is the property I live in, and those are guests. I live back here, through here. It's a two story uh, structure, up and down. Downstairs is a kitchen, bathroom. Upstairs, two bedrooms and a patio area. It's about 1.40 p.m. Beautiful Saturday morning. Every day is Saturday. I mean, it's beautiful though. But when you've got that breeze coming in and hopefully this do-it-yourself wind suppressor is working, and you've got the waves crashing the shore, I just feel a little heat from the sun, and but the sun is shining, guys. Let me show you. It's on the job now. That's just icing on the cake, man. So yeah, I'm gonna bring a little bit of paradise into your living room today. All your job. You might be coming back from the club, you driving, man. You say, hey, let me cut on Sunshine's shoulder. See what he's talking about today. I love it here, man. No place I'd rather be. I'm not going anywhere. No time soon, anyway. But yeah, cash your troubles, man, into that water right there. It's about as peaceful as, as it's ever going to be over here, man. And I can, I can have this every single day if I want it. It doesn't cost a whole lot. My budget in Tiki Hoa last month was around 750, just a little bit less. And we were here from May 1st until I left. I just got back last night. You know, this is probably where I'll spend the rest of my life, man. But I did a short today talking about, you know, the minute you make up your mind that you want to be successful, the universe is going to test you. Mother Nature is going to throw everything that she's got at you to see if you're for real. It's just part of the filtering process. There's going to be fear. There's going to be misfortune. There's going to be loss. There's going to be opposition, obstacles, hard times, whatever it is. She's going to throw it at you. And if you're able to withstand that, Mother Nature is going to step aside. She's going to relent. She's going to open up the windows to heaven and let all the blessings flow out to you. And you don't have to believe me. I'm living it. I woke up one Christmas in the crack house. Didn't have a dime in my pocket. Couldn't even go home. I hadn't brought my children anything. I was a selfish ML. But on May the 13th, 1998, I decided I wanted to be successful in life. And I let all that go. And Mother Nature threw everything at me that you could possibly... that she could possibly throw at me to see if I was serious. And 25 years later, I'm still standing. My life is just getting better and better and better. And so the opposition that comes, is gonna come, man. The hard times are gonna come, but I'm ready for it, see? I'm prepared for success, guys. And that's what I tell you to do. We're gonna talk about getting out of your comfort zone on the live stream tomorrow, see? Because I can do that on my channel. I'm in the Philippines. There's so much content here, man, that I could do 10 videos a day if I wanted to. I'm not going to jump on somebody's back to create content. I'm not going to ride anybody's coattails for content. If I stand on somebody's shoulders, it's just to get a better view. It's not going to be to push them down. So, yeah, I wanted to bring y'all into my life, a little bit of my life again today. Bring some paradise into your living room. Maybe you're still at work. Maybe you're laying in your bed watching this. Hopefully this wind suppressor works. 
I keep forgetting to get that dead cat over there in Dumaguete. That's what they call them. That wind suppress. I was just there yesterday. So yeah, guys, do this experiment with me. Men and women, write your problems right here in the sand. And let the waves wash them away. Because this too is too fast. It's really not that serious. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. Again, wherever you are in the world, please help somebody. Does. Somebody, somewhere, is worse off than you. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Join us on the live stream, man. You know, because I've got a real life channel, but I've also got a lifestyle channel. And if you don't like this type of lifestyle here, then you're watching the wrong channel, guys. Because this is really living. You can actually retire here. I can't afford to retire in America. If I went home tonight in the morning, I'd have to look for a job. Take care.